welcome back to another video thank you so much for being here today as i declutter a couple more spaces in my home if you are not new here you know that i have been working my way through my house decluttering each room and today i will be working on my closet as well as the sitting room in our house so let's get rid of some stuff Starting out in the sitting room, I already knew there was a few things that I wanted to get rid of, so I made a beeline towards those and started a little pile in the middle of the room. Now most of these are my husband's books, so I am not going to declutter any of his as he reads often. I do not, so I'm getting rid of the books that I have that I never read. Now this is a book I will probably never get rid of. This is my Michael Jordan book. My parents got it for me for Christmas, my senior year of high school. I really became obsessed with Michael Jordan when I was in high school and so my parents bought me that book and it was very special to me. Um, do you guys have any athletes that you really admire or look up to? Let me know below. I could only clean out one of these drawers again because my husband's stuff was in the other drawer. I don't know what he wants to keep, what's valuable, what isn't, so he's going to have to go through that at a later time. Now moving upstairs to my closet, me and my husband each have our own closet. His is definitely more packed than mine. <laughs> mine isn't too bad, it's just really messy. There's a lot of things in here that don't belong here. There's a few clothing pieces that I do not wear and probably will never wear, so I just need to be honest with myself and get rid of those. I know I don't have a lot of clothes. What you see here is what I have. I don't have a separate dresser anywhere else. I have a couple drawers um, in the closet that are built in, but that's it. It's amazing the random things you find in your closet. I found a box of nails, like trim nails. I don't know why they were in there. I think I meant to hang something in here, but oh, never did. We've lived here gonna be three years and I have never hung anything in the closet. I also found a disposable camera. There's still pictures left on it, so I need to use that up and get that developed and see what gems are on there. Isn't that the cutest faux leather jacket? That was my daughter. She sadly outgrew it, but I am going to be selling that.
I loved these picture frames and I was convinced that I would hang them up in my closet. Like I said, we've lived here three years. I never did. I had them hanging in our old master bedroom in our old house. So I brought them here thinking that I would love them just as much here and I just never did. They've been sitting in my closet for a long time. So I decided to just bite the bullet and get rid of them. I don't remember the last time I dusted these shelves and oh man, the dust was out of control. It felt really good to get them cleaned. These are the only drawers that I have in my closet. They have my undergarments, pajamas, socks, and t-shirts in them. Like I said, I do not have a lot of clothes. I would like a few more pieces, but I don't even wear what I have, so it doesn't really make sense to buy anything else right now. This is what it's looking like so far while the shelves are emptied and cleaned. So now that I can see everything that has to go back into the closet, I was just sorting it into piles so that I could get a feel for how I wanted to organize the closet when I put it all back. That box sitting next to me is my jewelry box. Not only do I put my jewelry in there, but I put a lot of special things in there, like cards from the kids or my husband or my sister or any cards that came with flowers from special people. This is everything I found to donate. Of course, there was garbage that I didn't show, but this is everything that I'm decluttering. looks so much cleaner and more put together and I actually don't mind going in my closet now.
and I found a few other things to add to my gigantic pile. My mom actually came over and took those white frames that I love so much, so I was super thankful for that. But it feels so good knowing that this pile is no longer here. I was able to take it to donations and get that corner of my room back, only to, I'm sure, be filled up with more items that I want to declutter.